Hello, Callan students and families. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thursday. We're looking forward to a fantastic Friday tomorrow. Today I wanted to share the story, Abuela. Abuela by Arthur Doros, illustrated by Elisa Clevin. Abuela takes me on the bus. We go all around the city. Abuela is my grandma. She's my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly Spanish because that's what she spoke when she grew up, before she came to this country. Abuela and I are always going places. Today, we're going to the park. El parque es lindo, says Abuela. I know what she means. I think the park is beautiful too. Tantos pajaros, Abuela says, as a flock of birds surround us. So many birds. They're picking up the bread we brought. What if they picked me up and carried me away? High above the park, what if I could fly? Abuela would wonder where I was, swooping like a bird, I'd call to her. Then she'd see me flying. Rosalba the bird, Rosalba el pajaro, she'd say. Ven, Abuela, come, Abuela, I'd say. Si quiero volar, Abuela would reply as she leapt into the sky with her skirt flapping in the wind. We would fly all over the city. Mira, Abuela would say, pointing, and I'd look as we soared over parks, streets, dogs, and people. We'd wave to the people waiting for the bus. Buenos dias, we'd say. Buenos dias, good morning, they'd call back to us. We'd fly over factories and trains and glide close to the sea. Cerca del mar, we'd say. We'd almost touch the tops of waves. Abuela's skirt would be a sail. She could race with the sailboats. I'll bet she'd win. We'd fly to where the ships are docked and watch people unload fruits from the land where Abuela grew up. Mangos, bananas, papayas. Those are all Spanish words. So are rodeo, patio, and burro. Maybe we'd see a cousin of Abuelo's hooking boxes of fruit to a crane. We saw her cousin Daniel once unloading and loading the ships. Out past the boats in the harbor, we'd see the Statue of Liberty. Me gusta, Abuela would say. Abuela really likes her. I do too. We would circle around Liberty's head and wave to the people visiting her. That would remind Abuela of when she first came to this country. Vamos al aeropuerto, she'd say. She'd take me to the airport where the plane that first brought her landed. Cuidado, Abuela would tell me. We have to be careful as we went for a short ride. Then we could fly to Tio Pablo's and Tia Elisa's store. Pablo is my uncle, my tío, and Elisa is my aunt, my tía. They'd be surprised when we flew in, but they'd offer us a cool limonada. Flying is hot work. Pero quiero volar más, Abuela would say. She wants to fly more. I want to fly more too. We would fly to Las Nubes, the clouds. One looks like a cat, un gato. One looks like a bear, un oso. One looks like a chair, una silla. Descanemos un momento, Abuela would say. She wants to rest a moment. We would rest in our chair and Abuela would hold me in her arms with the whole sky our house, Nuestra Casa. We'd be as high as the airplanes, balloons and birds and higher than tall buildings downtown, but we'd fly there too to look around. We could find the building where my father works. Hola, Papa, I'd say as I waved and Abuela would do a flip for fun as we passed by the windows. Mira, I hear Abuela say. Look, she's telling me. I do look. And we're back in the park. We are walking by the lake. Abuela probably wants to go for a boat ride. Vamos a otra aventura, she says. She wants to go for another adventure. That's just one of the things I love about Abuela. She likes adventures. Abuela takes my hand. Vamos, she says. Let's go. 
What if you suddenly floated up and found yourself flying around the city where you live? Where would you go? What would you see? Take some time to do a little sketch.